Hey guys, I am back with a Dollar Tree slash Marshalls haul. If you guys watched my Michaels haul, you'll know I ended up not doing them all in one video because I didn't want it to be too long. So now I will share with you guys that stuff. So there's not very much. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to start with Dollar Tree. And then the first thing I got, which I hadn't seen there before, is I picked up these black roses and um, I got one that has purple spiders because really I just like the flowers I thought they're really pretty I know weird but I love black roses so I got two bunches one with the purple spiders and then one with the black ones and I'm just gonna cut these off I think and then um, actually put them up in my makeup area because I love the color black so um, I got those then I got two of these kitchen towels, these Halloween ones, and I'm actually going to include these in some Happy Mail, some a swap actually. Um, I thought the person might like them, so I did pick up two just to have a set in case she wants to decorate for Halloween. Then I picked up some of these paper straws and I picked up the black ones with the orange polka dots. So I got those for her. And of course there's other stuff I have that's not from Dollar Tree, but that's just some extra stuff. Then I got um, my Dollar Tree, if you guys saw a while back I held those candles that I really liked and I did a review on the cinnamon bun one. Well. My Dollar Tree didn't have them for a minute, and then when I was there today, I saw some. So, I picked up two more of the Cinnamon Bun, because this is actually my favorite one of all. So, I just went ahead and picked up these. If you guys see these, oh my gosh, they smell amazing. They are really good. Um, I love them. They throw off a lot of scent. Even, like, my house is big, and I can smell it through my house in this little one right here. And normally I can't say a lot of good things about the Dollar Tree candles, but I love these. So I picked up two more to add to my stash. And then um, a few days ago, I saw um, Couponing Girl. She did a review of these candles on her channel. And she was saying how they were really, really good. And so when I was at my Dollar Tree today, I saw it. And I believe this is the one she said, the Spice Caramel. So she was saying that these are really, really good and they throw off a lot of scent and, you know, that's what I'm all about is the ones that make your house smell really good. So I did find the one that she talked about and I'm going to use that up whenever it's time to change my candle up. And, you know, for a dollar you really can't beat it and it comes in a glass little thing that you can always reuse. And I had it, if you guys look in there, um, some of the ones I saw... I couldn't tell from the outside, but inside there were just like pieces of glass, like this was broke, because this is glass, and a lot of them had like little slivers of glass in there, but from the outside you couldn't tell it was broke. So just be cautious, you know, when you see these. I had, I looked for one that didn't have any kind of broken glass in it. Um, I don't know if that's just my Dollar Tree or what, but just, it was something I saw, so I just kind of wanted to put that out there so you guys, you know, you don't get home and have a broken one or whatever, so... This one was perfectly fine, so I picked up that one. Hopefully it's good, like she said, and I'll definitely get more if I like it. And then, um, I just picked up, I know, kind of random, but they had these six packs, six rolls of toilet paper, which is a really good deal. So, I don't know why I got two. I have three bathrooms in my house. I should have picked up three, one for each bathroom, but one of the bathrooms doesn't get used very often. So it's not that big of a deal, but I picked up two of those to have on hand. Um, yeah, and that's everything I got from Dollar Tree. Like I said, it was really small. I spent like $13 and change, and two of those dollars were drinks for me and my son. And then one of the dollars was they're um, doing like if you buy a can of food for like the homeless or something. So I did buy one. You know, they ask if you will you buy one. I was like, okay, you know, I always, you know, do that stuff to help the less fortunate and whatnots if I can. So 
basically I, I like spent ten dollars besides drinks and that can of, it was like vegetables or something they have like a thing there and they just pick one um so that is everything that's from dollar tree okay so next i'm going to show you guys marshall's and i've just got a few things there as well so that's why i was going to combine them and i went looking for some stuff for my makeup area um because you know it's hit or miss and I would I like going there because their stuff is pretty reasonable and you get some really cute stuff so most of the time I don't find anything but I always like to go and check every once in a while today I did okay I actually found a couple things for some happy mail that I need to send so I found the American Crafts the paper straws this has 24 so um, I got that then I found two packs of these um elements they're brads basically so i got both of those for um not for me um then i found that goes with that these little tags right here and there's 12 in a pack and they were $1.29 which is a pretty good deal so i got those then i got these pebbles stickers there's six sheets in here and oh, I don't know but these are the ones that I got they're like kind of like a fall theme they're these are the different ones that are in there so hopefully the person that gets them in their happy mail likes them and then I picked I found I seen a lot of people hauling these and this is the only pack that I found at my Marshalls but I found these gold arrows the paper clips that I know people have called these ones and like some bows I think and I want to say there's another pack but this is all mine had mine had very few things very slim pickings there in the craft stuff today which kind of happens most of the time so I got that and that's it for crafty stuff um I'm not gonna show that because I bought that for a friend and I don't want her to see it so there's my receipt. Um, I found, which I fell in love with, and there was two of them there, so I did grab both of them. These little holders right here, these are like, I guess like candle holders, but I just think they were so pretty, and this is exactly the kind of stuff I'm looking for for my makeup area, because I have a certain look I'm going for, but like, if you go to a normal store, you're going to spend a freaking ton load of money on stuff like this and it's actually a lot prettier in person that it's coming on my camera but I just thought these were so pretty and um, they had two like I said here's the other one and they are kind of small but I don't care this is like the kind of stuff I was looking for so I was happy to find these and these were $5.99 which I think is a pretty good deal um, and these are you know um, have these like crystals on each thing and there's a lot of them on here so these are for my makeup area and I just think they're so pretty so I was really happy to find those and then the last one well, actually no I found this because you guys know they have makeup there that's like discounted but they didn't really have anything good today just a bunch of like open crap that I wasn't gonna buy um, I did find this Tokyo milk and I was first, I was trying to figure out what it was. I mean, I know the brand because it's at Sephora. Um, and I was trying to figure out what it was because it was kind of covered up. So I was kind of like going through and then I seen right here, it's like a lip balm. And so I thought, oh, okay. Um, and it was $2.99, which is pretty good. Um, I can't see what's under it, but I need to get the label off. But um, of course too, I love the packaging. I think it's super pretty. I really, really like it. Um, so that's for me. I know I did hardly got anything for, well, I did get some stuff for myself, but um, mostly for other people. And I, like I said, I went to Marshall's looking for um, stuff for my makeup area. I'm just trying to do a little bit at a time because my budget's kind of small. So I just do a little bit here and there. And eventually I hope to get it, you know, exactly what or where I want it to be. But it's just going to take some time. And I'm okay with that. Um, so I found this 
um, acrylic organizer, and I actually haven't found this exact one there before. Um, this is a four drawer cosmetic organizer, and I love the acrylic storage for my makeup, which if you guys watch any kind of really beauty videos, it's like, you know, all about the acrylic, but I actually really like that look. So, um, <laughs> ever, probably for a while now, I've been on the hunt for like the acrylic drawer storage and I didn't find them for a long time. So I ended up buying, um, if you guys ever heard of it, like the Muji drawers, the acrylic drawers that a lot of the beauty people have. And I ordered some of those. So I have a few of those. And then I started finding these here and there. And so whenever I see like a drawer set, I always buy it because it doesn't happen very often. So slowly my collection is building. But this one was $12.99. And being someone who loves makeup, I have priced makeup storage, the acrylic storage, a lot. And it's pretty pricey. It can get very, very expensive. So... Um, for $12.99, uh, yes, please, I was willing to pay that. So I was pretty excited to find that. I'm pretty ex Actually, when I finish this video here, I'm going to go up and, um, put these up, you know, start messing around up there. And then I got this, uh, other piece, and this looks like this, and it has, like, it's this big tray, and I really was mostly just wanting like the acrylic drawer storage, but I kind of needed a tray. So I liked this. It has, it says large nine compartment cosmetics tray. It's 12.9 inches by 8.3 inches by three and a half inches. So I mean, it's a pretty good size and I like it has like three separate compartments, like big compartments here. And then it has this other, you know, big square compartment and then these four and then this one and it kind of gives you an idea of what you can put in there like nail polish powder moisturizers and stuff um i probably won't do in the order that they say because i kind of you know like my things a certain way and i got this one it was the only one there and this one was 12.99 which again i thought was a pretty good deal I was pretty excited to have it and you know like I said I don't find a lot of acrylic storage so when I get it I'm like yes and I bought um I'm running out of room here I already showed that I bought if you guys know at the registers at Marshalls and whatnot they have all those different reusable totes and I'm like big on reusable totes I use them all the time and a lot of times when I'm giving stuff to people like in person either presents or whatever I like to use reusable totes because a lot of times like the paper bags will rip I mean I do use, use those if necessary but a lot of times they'll rip and stuff so I like buying just a reusable tote and you know giving them in that and then they can always reuse it if they want to or re-gift it or whatever but I was up there waiting in line and I saw this really cute bag and if you guys know I love like old stuff like vintage like the old postcard stuff and the old scripts script um so this one is like a London one you can see there's like a, it's kind of hard to get this in frame but it's a really big tote and it has like the London bridge and stuff and I just thought it was so stinking cute and it was only 99 cents and I thought that was a really good deal especially for the size and I love the colors it's like gray and cream so I really liked that um so I just was like okay I want this bag you could just put all my stuff in it and it would like fit in there perfectly and some of my Michael stuff I had because I went to Marshall's first and then I went next door well I went to Marshall's got the stuff put it in the car and then went into Michael's um the first time <laughs> and then ended up like once I got my stuff I you know put some of it in here in my car so I just love these kinds of bags and you can't beat a really cute bag for 99 cents especially at that size so um I always try to get them there like I said I give them away a lot to people and whatever so um I was pretty happy overall with all the stuff that I found today like I said I'm in love with these I wish I could find more stuff but you know, this is all that they had. I want to get like a tray with this, like other storage stuff, just that's really pretty. 
like this is totally like my my beauty area style is like this kind of stuff I love this and like the acrylic storage um, and of course my new black shen or candelabra that I got that I'm in love with but enough rambling for now you guys just wanted to share everything I found and show you guys our new pet grumpy cat we need, we need to find a name for him. He's so Wait, cute. Mom, can we have the, um, the name in the no. comments? Um, but anyways, yeah. I just wanted to share that with you guys and kind of let you see what's out there and kind of show you what I found because I was pretty happy. So that's it for today, you guys. I, I don't know when the next time I will be doing a haul. I just have lots of things I got to be doing and whatnot. So that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.